Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, nice to see you again. Uh, today's video we're going to talk a little bit about water testing and have a look at the different types of water test kits that are out there and how to use them and what the differences are. Uh, the reason that I'm doing this at the moment is I've been talking about this tank for a while behind me. I'm trying to get some kind of balance and stability going on because I'm getting a lot of algae and if I want to understand what's going on in the aquarium I need to know what's going on with the water so I need to test the water parameters. And a quick side note, if you've ever gone on the internet and asked for help with your aquarium and someone asks you what your parameters are, fine is not an appropriate answer. So other than a general curiosity about what's going on in my water, um, one thing I was trying to check the, I think it was the hardness that I checked, and particularly on, this is a phosphate kit, um, but particularly on the API kits up at the top there, you'll see an expiration date. And I noticed that the, the kit was out of date. So I got myself a new one. Thought oh, it'd be interesting to see if there is a difference between the out of date ones and the new ones because quite often you do get a lot of people saying on the internet don't use the out of date kits because there's no way you can trust that kind of thing that's going on. So what I'm going to do is go through the different test kits that I've got at the moment. I'll be testing the water from here. I'm going to do it all right now. I won't make you sit through all the various things. But we'll chime in now and again with the salient points about how to use these various things. And we'll compare the results at the end and I wonder if we'll see anything interesting. I'm not sure. Um, let's go on with it and we'll see. So as you can see in my aquarium at the moment there's a fair bit of algae there. I'm trying to keep on top of it with water changes and picking off what I can but it persists. So I really need to know what's going on and properly understand my water chemistry. Um, and then we can figure out how to actually attack it. But if you see there in the corner there's been a little bit of action going on. Um, there's quite the clutch of eggs down there. I noticed them this morning. That's between this one here and this one. They are the pair. Uh, and I'm surprised that they're letting these two get as close as they are because all day this red one's been scaring everyone else up against the, the glass on the other side. But unfortunately I don't think it will come to anything in this tank. It's just um, if they do come to anything they'll end up getting eaten. But a promising sign, even if it might not be the best pairing. But in general, throughout my aquarium keeping career, I've been an API, freshwater master kit kind of guy. But I know other people prefer various different tests. Today I'm going to test uh, three different brands. I'm going to test the API freshwater master kit. A new, brand new, just arrived today. And an old one that's out of date. I've got the JBL ProScan test strips, which are here, and I've got the Tetra test strips over here as well. So I'm going to test the three different brands against each other. One thing I will say is, and this is not a sponsored video in any way, shape or form. So what I'm expecting with these kits is that we'll probably get some kind of variance between the different kits. And I'm just not sure what will happen between the old and the new. I'm not sure whether it's an old wives tale that the, the out of date thing is real or whether or not it's just a ploy to get you to buy more. Um, but we shall soon see. But with all test kits, they're very much a, a feeling of what's going on. They're not very super accurate. So they might give you, even though they'll say something is, I don't know, 10 parts per million or 20 parts per million, at best that's a bit of a yeah, rough estimate. You've really got to use just looking at your tank and looking at your fish and see what's going on there and then use your test kits as something to kind of back up anything so if you see some fish flashing or so you see them gasping or something you think right something might be going on there I'll get the test kit out and I'll figure out what it is because unless you send it away to a proper scientific lab these are just kind of rough guides rather than specific numbers even though they will spit out numbers but anyway let's get on with it I'm going to take them away uh, and I'll try them all out. Like I say, we've got the JBL Pro Scan kit. I really like this one. I hope this one's good. Um, because as much as I love testing kits, that's not true. As much as um, it's important to do it, it is a proper faff. I mean, mix 10 drops of this, shake three times, mix another 10 drops of the other, shake three times. Test strips and dip kits. There's no getting away from it, they are easy. If they're not as accurate, yeah, that's something that you have to bear in mind, but they are easy. And this one particularly I like because it comes with this little card, so you dip in your strip into the water and you put the strip down on the card, as so, and then you get your phone out and it's got an app in it, and you take you hold the app over it, and the app talks you through everything. Um, and it scans it and it just boop 
puts out all the results there so there's no trying to go is that colour that colour or is it the other and um, it kind of takes away the guesswork element of it I'm a little bit colour blind as well and I've always tried to convince myself that it doesn't really matter that I'm colour blind because if I'm comparing uh, like the API kit here if I don't, if I think, well that's not orange, it's green, I don't think that, but if I was to, I'm comparing something that looks exactly like that, but if you look at these, the, the variance between 10 and 20 on the nitrate kit, for instance, it's practically nothing, they look almost identical to me, and it's the same with some of the other ones, so everything's got its flaws, everything's got its benefits, so let's go on with trying some of these out. So, we'll start with the JBL test. Um, so get your phone out and you go to the JBL ProScan app again not sponsored by JBL in any way but should you want to sponsor me I'm happy to listen you get your test strip out go on the app press my analysis pick what you want to analyze so display tank continue it gives you some instructions here, so it says press the start button and immerse the analysis strip for 2 to 3 seconds. So you press the start button, 1, 2, 3, take it out, shake it off sideways, position the analysis strip onto the colour chart. So we'll put that down here. So it does say on it what side's the top and the bottom, so it's easy to line up, etc. And it goes straight onto the camera. You just kind of hold that over there. It goes away and it tells you your results. Wow. So if these results are correct, um, apparently I've got 75 parts per million nitrates. I'm even showing some nitrates. Um, and a pH of less than 6. Okay. So I'm not sure how accurate that is, it's not what I'm expecting anyway, but we shall play one. So I'll crack on now and I'll do the rest of the test strips. But accuracy, but accuracy aside, that was dead easy. So it literally takes a minute because you dip it in, you press the button, you dip it in, you put it on, and a minute later you've got some results. So if they are right, it's concerning, but we shall see. So API test next. So I am going to test everything, um, but I'm just thinking some test kits test for things that others don't, so just for comparison purposes they all test nitrate, so that's a good one to pick and it's probably one that most people are interested in. Um, so I'm just going to compare all the nitrate tests, but we'll go on. API kit, you all have seen this many times, uh, no doubt. So you get your 5 mils worth of water. So the nitrate test is actually two bottles. Um, interestingly, these ones, so the new ones, they don't have that locking feature that the old ones do. The old one have this red band around them. But we'll just go on with these, we'll test them marked up, bottle one, bottle two, always read the instructions obviously. Um, but in this particular test it's ten, bot ten drops of each. So you take bottle one first, do ten drops. I can't do anything else but count it there. And um, the instructions say upend it several times, so we'll do that. And then we take bottle number two, and same thing, ten drops. One, two, three, ten drops of that. Then we'll put the lid back on. Again, give it a shake. And then you need to leave this one for like five minutes. So we'll leave that there. And using camera trickery, we'll come back and you won't have to wait all that time. Right, five minutes has elapsed. Really? And this is the nitrate test. So the nitrate is the one down on this side, see how close you can get. And to me, that is that is bang on five to my eyes. It's lighter than ten. 
I'd say that's five, definitely five. So quite the disparity between that and the JVL test. But nevertheless, let's plough on. As I wait for this next batch to come through, it occurs to me that there'll be people screaming at their phones or TVs or computers, he didn't shake the nitrate test. I'm fully aware about the shaking of the second nitrate bottle. I shook it. I gave it a good proper shake off camera, very vigorously. Um, don't worry about that. Please don't co well, comment about it anyway. Comments are always good. Right, we're back. Um, I'll stick the results up here. Um, kind of as expected, there was quite a variance between the different brands of tests. Um, however, I wasn't expecting quite such a, a variance. Ended up testing everything. Um, obviously, it's easy enough with the strips because you have to test everything. But went through all the API tests, old and new. Um, but yeah, there's quite the variance across them. But predominantly in nitrates. So the JBL test here has got, um, I think, 75 was the one that I took. I took another couple of tests and it did come down a little bit. I think the lowest I got though was 65. Whereas the Tetra strips were um, under 20, it's hard to tell with that one. And the API tests, they, they look spot on five from that. But which one's more accurate? No way of telling um, without doing some proper scientific testing. Uh, the next most concerning thing there was that the pH was a lot lower than I was expecting across the board. Um, now, I did do this quite late at night and pH does drop towards the end of the day. So it's... It, understandable that it might be low but I was normally expecting it to be around 6.6, 6.8 um, whereas they were kind of consistently down in the low 60s and what was even more worrying is that uh, certainly the API test that only goes as low as 6 so it will show 6 even if it's 1. Um, not that I think it is that so I do have a pH pen and some calibration fluid so I did go and check it with this and it was showing, oh, I've forgotten now, I've written down somewhere, it was showing 6.3 um, so we've got from 6 up to 6.4 across the various different things there. Um, so that's it. What else can we say about this other than the old out of date test kits seem to be exactly the same as the, the brand new test kits. So I'm not saying that this is scientifically proven that the old test kits um, you don't need to throw them away once the, the dates are out but I got exactly the same results and some of those were from they went out of date, the oldest ones that I've got there went out of date in 2017, so they're pretty old. Um, yeah, so that was quite interesting. I'm not sure that I would trust that, and I'm certainly not giving out that advice that you don't need to buy new test kits when they expire, but we take it for what it is. So what is what conclusions can we draw from all this? Um, well, that's down to you, really. The conclusions I'm drawing is it doesn't really matter what test kit you're using, or really what the numbers are that it's giving you. As long as you do it regularly and consistently, so even if I wanted to use the JBL test kit, knowing that it's throwing out quite high nitrate numbers, as long as when I'm, I want you, I would Even though it's throwing out what looks like quite high nitrate numbers, as long as I keep using the same kit and test it regularly and consistently, and it continues to throw out that number, I know it's fine because I know it's not going up and it's not going down drastically. I can just kind of fudge that number in my head and that's that, I'm all right with that. Um, certainly the JBL kit seemed to be the easiest for me to use because it literally takes a minute. Um, given how accurate all the rest of them seem to be. Um, Tetra strips, it does rely on me using the, the colour chart and it seemed to be quite wide variances between each of the steps and colours. Um, API test kit, I've used it for years, I like it, I trust it. Um, so I really like the JBL kit and the API kit. I'll probably keep using the API kit on my main tank and the JBL kit I'll probably use for all my other tanks just because it is really quick and easy to use. So I guess that's that. I'd like to thank you all for watching and if you haven't already, make sure you click that subscribe button and the little bell and it'll let you know when we make another video and you won't miss out. And as always, leave me some comments down below. I'm sure everyone will be eager to talk about this as a subject which seems to get people quite heated on the internet so no doubt it will be the same here. No doubt the comment section will be awash with people proclaiming their own preferred test kit is better than all the others. Take it all with a pinch of salt. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye!